All right, Coach McCoy, we are here in the wrestling room at Maryland, and I noticed there are some big screens here underneath your signs. Okay, and we've got the cameras actually mounted right here, not security cameras. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, actually, um, it was an idea that I got from the Olympic Training Center uh, when I was finishing up my career. Technological advances was starting to happen, and I am like to be on the cutting edge of technology. And uh, the OTC had it, and they used it to a sense where you recorded a video, could set a delay, and all that stuff. So I went back when I was the head coach at Stanford. I went there, and I wanted to kind of take that idea and take it to the next level. So we got a situation where we got... Um, DVRs, you know, TiVo units, and we set it up so you can have the delay, but also what happens with these DVRs, we have a hard drive, so we can do a lot more stuff with it, and, uh, you know, did it out there, it worked out real well, so when I came here, I wanted to get the same setup set up, and uh, it's working out real well for us. How do you really utilize it? You, you know, you talk about it's a TiVo system, and you can come back. A lot, you know, a few other people have this. Obviously, you set it up at Stanford. You took it there for your three seasons there, but how do you think you utilize it uh, I guess properly, and do you utilize it as much as you as you want to? Uh, I think we do. I think a lot of places that have this, um, we probably use it. Uh, everyone's a little bit different, but I think we use it the most effective out of uh, a lot of places that have them. We, there's three things that we do. One, we set it up and we'll record 95% of our practices. So you come in from the start where the guys are warming up, we hit it, and again, it's like a TiVo unit, so you can rewind it, you can pause it at any point, so go through the whole practice. At the end of the practice, we can go back, rewind it to the beginning, watch the technique, rewind it to the drill, and rewind it to the live wrestling so you can get that opportunity. Um, that's why we use it the most. The second thing we do, we bring our individual matches in. We put them on the hard drive so we watch our matches from the competition throughout the entire year. We can put them all in the match. So the guys can come down here in the room, watch their video. While they're watching the video, they can actually work on the stuff in the room versus when you're in the coach's office, watch it, maybe take notes, but then you may may not get to work on it directly um, with that system. So this way we can get instant feedback with technique when you're scouting or watching your own self. And then the third point when we do our, our scouting our opponents. You know, we can watch it down here and work on it right here in the room, which is really the biggest asset because, um, again, same situation sitting in the coach's office. You know, you can work on stuff, you write it down, but here it's like Johnny does a, shoot, uh, a high crotch, here's what he's doing, boom, pause it, let's go work on it, come back, watch it again, so we actually have it right in the room. So those are the three biggest areas that we use it. We obviously have the capability to, uh, to burn stuff onto the hard drive and burn onto a DVD and take it later. We don't use that too often just because it's not really as practical. You don't want to have you know, 500 DVDs of, of a 30-second workout, but we have that capability. But mainly we use it for the instant feedback, and I think that that's really important. That's something that not a lot of people are using it for. We were talking earlier, and you called yourself a hands-on person. You said you were pretty hands-on. Is this a part of that hands-on, you know, uh, Kerry McCoy ex experience and coaching style? Yeah, it definitely. Like I said, I, I got it from the Olympic Training Center, and, you know, a lot of the best coaches in, in the country are out there using the system. So I felt like, you know, if they're doing it, that's the type of stuff that we have to do. So we get in here. We watch our matches. You know, each member of the coaching staff will spend time with different guys, and guys will say, okay, let's watch a film. Let's work in this position. I may be working on something that another guy, one of our other coaches will come in and say, hey, you know, this is what you want to do or vice versa. So, but it is an opportunity for us to physically get on the mat, which, again, taking it out of the office. In the office, we're both sitting in a chair, you know, pointing stuff out here. We're actually on the mats, hands-on doing stuff. So definitely lends to that, that possibility. All right, Coach McCoy. For anyone who, uh, who can do this, do you go with just the two corners or do you go four <laughs> corners with the, the cameras? Um, you know, it, it's, it's, for us, we were a little bit constrained by budget. You know, ideal situation, you'd probably do six cameras I think uh, you know you do one in each corner and then one in the middle and then maybe even do a seventh camera right on top and I know some places have setups where they do that where you can get complete angles you know 360 degrees you know we, we, we don't have uh, that type of funding to make that happen you know there's some places that have remote controls with the cameras they can move it all around it's more this is a fixed camera so ideal situation you want to get as much of the room covered as possible and get as many angles so right now the two corners does a good job we get both mats um, get to cover that series and you know we can go in individual folks and change the angles and all that stuff but for the most part you know two gets it done but ideally you'd like to have as many as you can to get as many of the angles as possible. Do you think it gets the guys more on their toes and, and gets them even working harder? Uh, I think it definitely serves a purpose to, to solve a lot of the arguments that you have in practice you know that was two that wasn't two I got to turn here you know we, let's go back to the tape and I tell our guys videotape never lies so anytime there's an argument like that it definitely uh, is easy to sort out who did who scored and, um, but yeah, it definitely helps them stay on their toes because they know that they've got that instant feedback opportunity.